one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in my entire life. Only pick 10 Aritzia pieces. In impossible, okay? But I made the impossible. Possible. I want to first start off by apologizing to all the clothes that did not make it into my top 10. It's not you, it's me. I love all of you. Just not equally. I just have stronger feelings for the clothes. I'm sorry, goodbye. I'm kidding, not goodbye. I need to keep you because I like wearing you as well. Anyways, welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Linda and I am a proud Aritzia addict. Yep. My feelings and passion and love towards Aritzia cannot be described in words. Now that that is all out of the way, I would like to share my most worn, most favoriteest pieces from Aritzia with you. Now these clothes have been through thick and thin with me, through tears through breakups, through struggles and victories. And these are the ones that have stuck it through to the very end. I present to you the clothes. So the first item that is definitely one of my favorites, even though I just got it during the quarantine, it's sold out now, I'm sorry, but it's the Ghana jacket. Okay. I've seen so many girls wear this and I've always been so jealous. I'm like, it looks so cute, so warm, so comfortable. And it is. I wear it literally every day when I walk my dog. Sometimes it's still really cold in the evening time, so this is super nice. And I can just imagine myself in the fall with like a turtleneck or even over a sweatshirt, over a tank top, whatever. It'd be so cute. It is very oversized, so I definitely say size down. It's such a great jacket. It's so warm and cozy and comfortable. I don't know what else you would want in a jacket. It's like super warm, but not too heavy. But like, come on, it's like wearing a fuzzy wool warm blanket, you know? Just a tip, do not wash this in your washing machine. Hand wash it. It's gonna shrink and you're gonna hate everything because you just spent $200 on, on it and then it's tiny, but yeah. Really great, I love it already, it's amazing. Proven bestseller, beautiful, love it, awesome. So the next piece I chose out as one of my favorites is a TNA oversized sweater. You cannot go wrong with classic pieces like this. And as a university student, I have worn this sweater to death. I wear it literally every day, every lecture, you see me sleeping in this sweater. It comes in so many colors, literally like 45, and it comes in a light material version now, which you can totally check out, I'll link it in the bottom. But it'll be perfect paired with your favorite jeans. I wear it with my dress pants, some sneakers. You can wear it over a t-shirt when you're running errands, when you're going to school, or when you're sleeping at school. It's the best crewneck that I've ever worn. It's not too heavy, but it's substantial enough to keep you warm. And it's not too thick where you just feel like, like, eh. You know, love the color that I got it in. Might have to get in a few more, but definitely recommend this piece. Okay, so I know it is summer. It is 30 degrees outside. It's freaking hot, but that doesn't change my love for this coat right here. The Super Puff is so basic. Don't kill me, okay? I know everyone has this now, but there's a reason why. She keeps me so warm. She's so soft. She doubles as a pillow. I kind of look like a marshmallow in this cream color, but I like that about it. And it's so freaking cold in the winter where I live. It snows so much, and you need something like this to get you through those rough snow days where the snow is up to your hips. This coat has been through thick and thin with me. It's been through negative 30 degrees weather. It's been through hail, snow, wind, rain, and we've survived together. Thank you. And also what I love most about it is that it's machine washable. That's why I trusted myself with the cream color because you know I've uh, gone or stained a few times, but, but there's literally nothing better. And there's also like 50 colors that they come in. Just get one, you'll thank me for it. Beautiful jeans. These are beautiful jeans. Okay, these are the Farahs. I have three pairs for a reason Because they're beautiful. They're amazing. They speak to me. Yeah, I have three of these I talked about these a lot in my how to style Aritzia pants video and my denim collection So you should check out the videos <laughs> They should be linked uh, somewhere on the screen right now, but yes, I love these pants I'm not ashamed of it 
And it's not even that bad because I have one in white, one in black, and one of this blue denim-y color. They're very affordable for denim. That's very good quality. Like I've seen some very expensive denim that I cannot afford. This, affordable. I personally think that the Ferrars are the best denim forum pant that exist in the history of denim forum. My favorite jeans are the Levi's rib cage, but these come in a very close second. Very close. These are essentials in my wardrobe. If you see me walking around, I will either be in one of my three pairs of the Farrah's or I will be in my Levi's ribcage. There's nothing else I'm going to wear. These are ribcages right now. I will never not be wearing jeans like this because skinny jeans, they just, they just, they just don't cut it for me. Go try one of these on. You won't regret it. They fit perfectly. Very true to size. Amazing. The A Gold D Parker shorts. No, for real though, like, the best shorts I've ever bought. And I just bought them, the tag is still on them, but the moment I put them on my legs, I was like, yes, thank you, a gold D, thank you. They are a bit more expensive, I talked about that in my Aritzia haul, but it is so worth the money. These are the best shorts I've ever put on my body. I'd rather have one pair of these shorts than a hundred pairs of any other type of short. That is how much I put my trust into these shorts, and you should too. That's why everyone raves about these denim shorts. I was always like, why is everyone freaking out about the denim shorts? But they fit like no other. You already know the plunge front cardigan. I have no words for how amazing this cardigan is. I did just buy a white one, but this brown one right here has been through years and years of painful, painful memories that I never want to think about again, but this has been there for me. Forwards and backwards. To work, to school, chilling at home, over dresses, on pants. Every season of the year, I promise you, you will see me wearing this. This is just the most beautiful, versatile, comfortable, elegant piece of clothing I've ever owned. It's, it's, it's just, it's just amazing. Okay, this is called the Gonzola. It's just a simple black t-shirt with a crew neck. What's so special about that? Why is it your favorite? Because it goes with everything. I've owned this for like three years. I swear I wear it 300 days out of the year. It's just the perfect turtleneck length, sleeve length, crop, and it's so light and so comfortable. In the winter, you can wear it under a sweater. In the spring and summer, you can just wear it on top of jeans, on top of a skirt. It comes in like a thousand million colors. And yes, it's very simple, but I can't imagine my closet without this piece. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down, you know what I mean? I love you, thank you for everything. Okay, so this is not everyone's favorite, but I have worn this endlessly from the time I bought it until it was way too hot to wear trench coats outside. This trench coat is an essential in the fall and the winter. It's so comfortable, but just like that, it can dress up an outfit instantly. Or honestly, I wear it with sneakers half the time, just sneakers and like whatever underneath, it doesn't even matter, a hoodie, a sweatshirt, t-shirt, blouse, anything goes with this. It's really surprisingly super warm because it's lined all down the inside. It's very long, but I'm also very short, keep that mind it hits me at the ankle for some reason I'm not showing off my body but when I wear this I feel so confident and stylish in this piece and I swear every single time I wear it it doesn't matter where at school at the mall when I go to the gym I get a compliment on it and I'm like it's from Aritzia it's from Aritzia go to Aritzia Milwaukee Aritzia advertisement but guys if you don't like big sludgy coats it's not for you but if you've been looking for a nice trench coat like it's beautiful and I'm sorry you don't come for me, it's made of camel. There, it had to be said. Well, hello, Samuel Blazer. This blazer I have worn to death. All these pieces I've worn to death, but this blazer has a special place in my heart. I've always wanted like a neutral brown tone blazer. When I was growing up and always going to Aritzia or walking around, I was like, they look so good in their brown blazers, I need one. I wear it to school, I wear it to work, I wear it on top of t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, with jeans, with heels, with shoes, it just goes with anything. It's so simple and neutral, but it's such a classic. The Samuel blazer comes in so many colors and patterns, there's something for everyone. I just feel so so smart and stylish and like 
fashionable, you know? So if you're looking for a really good quality, just casual blazer with not too much shoulder padding, not too like, you know, chesty and like large and baggy and boxy, which is like the trend nowadays, but I will never give this blazer up because it's perfect in its own way. And there's a little, a flappy thing in the back. What more could you want from a blazer? But if you're not into this one, Aritzia has so many blazers with so many beautiful blazers with amazing silhouettes that you should definitely check out if you're not into this one. There's definitely one out there for you and they just released a ton more into their spring and summer collections, so. Check those out if you don't like mine. But I love mine, so that's all that matters. This right here, it's called the Run Sweater and it's an unreal piece of clothing. It doesn't look like much hanging up, but when it's on your body, it just falls into the right places. Like there's no other word for this than beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's definitely a little bit more dressy. It's not for everyone. Not everyone at every age is going to love it. But when I used to go to work before quarantine, I just threw this on top of any pair of jeans or dress pants, threw on some little booties, and it automatically just made me feel put together because the cut is beautiful. The way the sleeves drape down is so effortless and elegant. You just look so put together with this. Sometimes, even for school, I throw underneath like a turtleneck or a crew neck or something like that. This sweater will come out again this fall, so keep your eye out for it then. Oh, I love it. My mom also loves this one. Shout out, mom. We all knew this was coming. It's in every single favorites video that I've watched. Well, most. If it's not, it should be. The tie front pant from Aritzia is like a gift given from the heavens. The fact that I own two of them in the same color, in the same size and fit, it, it just shows that like, these are my pants. I just recently bought this in the nude color as well because I couldn't help myself and also because I knew I was gonna wear it a lot. And, and trust me, the nude one does not disappoint. My butt looks usually flat, but in those they look good. So Aritzia, the tie front pant does something to me. This is a classic piece. Everybody owns it and everybody loves it. It has the perfect high waist. It's cropped at the ankle. It comes in 3000 colors. It can be styled with sneakers, heels, boots, made casual with a t-shirt, dressed up with a blouse. The quality is amazing. I've had it for years and it looks the same as it always has since the first day I bought it from the store. Another thing about these, for girls who have short legs like mine, who have trouble finding any pair of dress pants that fit them, this this is your pant. Just go to Ritzia, try it on. Just try it. Just try it. Just do it. Trust me. So those were a couple of favorite pieces of mine from Aritzia, but as I said, I do have a lot of favorite pieces that unfortunately couldn't make it into this video, not because they're loved any less, but just because these ones were a little bit more superior. And I'm being completely honest when I say I wear these pieces so often that it didn't feel right not including them. But I would happily film a second one if you guys wanted. I do have a lot of Ritzia. Most of my closet is Ritzia. They've taken all my money. So yeah, if you guys would want that, um, just leave it in the comments below. I know my clothes would like that very much. I feel like some of them are feeling pretty left out right now. And please, if you have any favorites, I would love to hear what they are in the comments down below. I love to see what other people love and what other people's favorites are because Aritzia is so amazing and there's something out there for everyone, which is what I love about it. As always, I appreciate every single one of you that clicks on my video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me blab on about my love for Aritzia. Even if you don't make it to the end, I love you and I'll see you all next time. Bye. This is the most difficult thing I've ever have to this is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. These days I'm